In today's video, I want to show you how to use React Query together with Hilla and how to connect it to our TypeSafe backend services. So let's jump into code and see how it works. All right, so what we want to do in this project is build a simple Hilla application that uses React Query on the front end to connect to the TypeSafe Hilla services. I've already built a little bit of boilerplate for us here. So I have a to-do entity and a to-do repository that saves those to a database. And I've created a service class here, which is a browser callable service that provides me with a way of getting all the to-dos and saving a to-do. So the next thing we want to do is go to the Tanstech website and check out how to install this. So we're going to go to the install section and we're going to copy over the NPM install instruction. We're going to go into the terminal in the root of our project and do the install. Once that's completed, we can continue on with the instructions here. So we're going to go with the quick start guide. And what we can see is that there are two steps that we need to do is one is we have to set up a query client and essentially wrap our application or view where we want to use this with that. And then we're going to set up the actual code in our view. So let's begin by going into our app and setting up this query client provider. So right now we see we only have this route provider here and we want to wrap that route provider with a client query provider. So I'm going to copy over the client query definition here and that's going to need to get imported. Then in the template, what we're going to do is instead of returning the router provider, like we're doing right now, we're going to return a query client provider where the, where the client is the query client that we just created. And in here, we're going to return our router provider. All right. Now that we have that in place, we can start building our application. So let's jump over to our Hill application here and make that a little bit smaller so we can see both of these things next to each other. So I have the hello world view here. I simplified it a little bit from the starter. So all we have is a function that returns a div with an H1. And I'll hide the sidebar here so we have even more space to work with. So first thing we want to do is copy over all of this code for accessing the client, fetching, and mutating. So let's copy it over and then look at what all of this does. Let's import the query client. So this is what we're using, the client that we're using to actually perform the queries. Then we have a hook for doing a query. It takes in two things. One is a query key. This is essentially like a cache key or a key in a map that it uses to either cache or invalidate the cache to refetch things. The query function is what should get called when we want to perform this query. So in their example, they're using some unknown API here. And in our case, we're going to use the to-do service to fetch the to-do item. So the next thing we want to define here is the use mutation, which is another hook, which is used to mutate or change data. Again, that takes in a function instead of using a unknown API here, we're again going to use our to-do service and we're going to use the save method from there. And on success, we want to invalidate the to-do key here. Essentially, whatever to-dos we had from before, let's clear the cache and refetch those so that our state is in sync with whatever we have in the backend. Okay, so next thing I want to do here is use a Hilla form for actually defining new to-dos. So let's go ahead and create a const here where we pull out the model field and submit properties from the use form hook that takes in the to-do model that Hill generates. Then as the onSubmit method here, we are going to create an async function that takes in a to-do and it calls mutation.mutate and passes in that to-do like so. So here we're binding the submit of our Hilla form to React Query. So what we want to do then is start building out the UI. I'm going to create a div here for our form and I'm going to give it some class names. So let's see, we're going to do a flex with a medium gap between components and we're going to have two components here. We're going to have a text field, which will be for actually adding things. So we're going to destructure the field, pass in the model dot task, which is where we want to populate the value from this text field. And we're going to have a button, which on click we'll call submit. And we're going to give this a label of add to do. Okay, that looks good. 
Then let's do an, an ordered list where we actually displayed all the to-dos that we have. So we're going to take our query and take the data from that query and we're going to map over that. So for each to-do, we then want to return something. So in this case, we're going to return a list item and we're going to give this a key, which could be the to-do's ID. And then we're going to do a, let's do the to-do task like that. All right, so let's save the file and go into our browser and see what we have. Okay, so we see we have the field here and the button. So let's do buy milk, hit add, let's do tomatoes, hit add to do, and that seems to work. So let's go ahead and refresh the browser, just validate that those actually did get saved into our backend, which they did. So it seems to work. All right, so there you have it. Using React Query together with Hilla is very straightforward. Just install React Query, set it up as normal, and then call Hilla Backend Services, and you get the full type safety experience backend to front end. Hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.